and Pathogen Division of Durst US. Um, we'd like to welcome you to our booth here, and um, I'm going to be introducing today um, two new exciting products to complement um, the flagship Tau 330 that we have already have um, over 100 successful installations worldwide. So again, our flagship Tau 330 is a UV and jet press um, that's designed for narrow web applications. We have it in avail available in a variety of widths, 8 and 13 inches, and um, we're running a couple different color configurations. So the press is available in four color process, the addition of white, and also orange and violet. So to complement um, our already successful flagship 330, we have, um, for the first time here in the U.S., launched the Tau 330E, which is an economical version of the flagship Tau 330. So this machine has been engineered with particular attention to cost. So not only are the capital acquisition costs low, but we're keeping the running costs and the maintenance costs low. And in order to achieve this, what we've done is we have taken out the addition of orange and violet. So the press is available in four or five colors and in an eight and 13 inch uh, range. And really there's not quite anything in the marketplace that's running at this speed and resolution. So we're running about 157 feet a minute at a resolution of 1260 DPI. Um, there's not really anything in the market that's quite at this price point. So we have base models of the E that start under $400,000. Um, in addition to the low capital acquisition costs to keep the running costs slow, we have developed um, high pigment inks. And so what we're doing with these high pigment inks is we're actually reducing the amount of ink that we're having to uh, jet on the substrate in order to get uh, not only the image quality but also the adhesion uh, that's required in the label space. So we're laying down about 25% um, less ink. And in doing that, we actually create a little bit more of a matte, um, a matte look, and we did this in response to the marketplace demand if, to be able to take short-run digital work and long-run flexo work and substitute them se seamlessly without really having a major impact to the customer. So again, there's different varnishes and laminates that you can apply to achieve that, but this ink set on its own, uncoated, uh, is a little bit more matte than traditional UV inkjet, which tends to be a little bit a little bit tactile. In addition to that, uh, one of the unique features that kind of sets us apart from some of the other technologies in the marketplace is our high opacity white that we're able to achieve in a single pass. Um, there's some print samples on a wrap over there if you guys want to take a look. Um, but really, the opacity is better than what people can achieve on Flexo Press. It's very, very similar to pretty much the closest that you're going to get to rotary, rotary screen. So feel free to cut some samples out over there. Um, in addition to the low capital acquisition costs and low maintenance, uh, low running costs, um, we have designed the system to be very low maintenance. So the print head replacement costs and just the general overall day-to-day -day running costs are about half of what they are on our flagship Tau 330. And I actually have the flagship Tau 330 integrated in our hybrid press over there, so in a couple minutes we'll walk over uh, and I'll do a quick introduction to that. Um, right now I'm going to open it up to any questions that people may have. If you want to shout them out, uh, anything about the economical version um, of this press. If anybody doesn't have questions, we're going to head over to the other side. Anybody? Let's head over to the other side um, and I'll introduce you to our hybrid. 